We featured a lot of sports boats on this channel, and they're mostly Scandinavian or American or even French. But behind me here is an all American boat that is challenging that kind of stereotype. This is the Regency LE3 Sport pontoon boat. Now, not that many people in Europe are familiar with pontoon boats, but in the US, they are the fastest growing segment around. And I'm gonna try and show you exactly why that is the case. So it's really exciting to see one of these at a UK show for the first time. So, very basics of it, a pontoon boat, the reason they're called that is because it is literally built on pontoons. You can see one of them here, that is a, uh, an elongated aluminium tube, full of air, it has sealed compartments in it, so even if you hold one, it's never gonna sink, but essentially it's an aluminium catamaran. And in fact, this one is a little bit different because it also has a central one. And the reason for that is, again, to create more buoyancy, more stability, and actually it's much quicker than you might imagine. So with this 300 horsepower V8 on it, it is capable of 36 knots. But really, it's not the performance that's gonna sell this boat, it's the amount of space and comfort you get on a relatively limited length. So this is a 25 foot hull length. With the engine on that extended transom, it is about 28 feet, but you're not gonna believe the amount of space you get on board this boat, because every single inch of it is essentially accommodation space or entertainment space rather than a, a v-shaped hull where you lose a load of space up front you lose a load of space uh, in, in the actual cockpit every single inch of this is entertainment space now there is a small bathing platform on the stern and you can see there is a very sturdy looking water sports pole so you absolutely can ski or wakeboard behind it you've got a big late bathing ladder off the back there is access through the stern but there's also access through the side. So we're going to go and step through the side of the boat. Now, you can see in terms of styling features, it's not the sportiest looking of machines, to say the least. But that is not really the point. The point is this. Just look at that cockpit. It stretches from the very tip of the bow all the way to the very back of the transom. And the whole style of this is about laid back living on the sea or on the lake or on the river or wherever you happen to have it. Huge sun pad area here. This has an integrated backrest so you can use it as a backrest for the rear seat, but also flip it over and then you've got a sunbed to chill out on at the back. All safely enclosed behind guardrails. And this is my favorite element of the whole boat. If you lift this up, it's on cantilevered hinges. This, believe it or not, oh, swings up. I think this whole thing then hinges up, like so. And this, unbelievably, is a changing room. So you rig that up, the canopy, and then you've got a tent where you can get changed in total privacy. I, I think it's a little bit strange. It's, to me, it's slightly sort of Victorian in terms of that idea of like having a bathing room where we can get changed into one's bathing costume. But I love the idea of it. It, it creates a little tent around. You can get changed. You can even have a, 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 a little toilet, sort of porta potty in there. But I love the fact that you can, they've built this whole thing specifically so that you can do that. Love the lengths they go to to preserve your modesty. Now, of course, this wouldn't be a pontoon boat without cup holders and the entire boat is littered with them. These are very high spec ones. I think they also light up. There is a shower on board. Of course, there's a stereo. You've got to have tunes when you're out boating and there's a little 12, 12 volt, volt uh, socket so that you can plug in your phone or your accessories or whatever else you want to do. This entire canopy sunshade is all electrically powered that all folds back and stows neatly around the back masses of storage everywhere you look all of these lift up 
got the batteries there, but also massive of space. You could happily put some SUPs and so on. Inflatable paddle boards in there. Lots of little corner units. And even the styling of this looks more like uh, someone's sort of lounge or front room rather than necessarily boating. But lots of little space. You can put your bottles in there or your sunglasses or sun cream, whatever. And look at these helm chairs. Again, this just makes me smile every time I see it. You know, normally you see these very sporty looking chairs. These are just great big, heavily bolstered armchairs. And everything about them is just hilariously brilliant. We've got total adjustment. We've got height. They spin round. They've got arms on them. They've even got a little bit of suspension because they're like office chairs. They actually bounce up and down on their struts a bit. But look, I mean, that is just the most laid back seat you could ever imagine. You've even got backrest tilt on them. I might have to demonstrate this. If I sit back in my big lounge, I can just hit the button and chill out. Ah, oh, that's the way to go boating. Now the helm station itself, actually relatively high tech, quite glitzy. Uh, I'm not sure if we can fire it up, but you can see it's a sort of Tesla style screen. There we go, it's coming alive now. This obviously, you have all your engine controls on here. There's no separate analog dials. You've also got access to the onboard entertainment system. You can pull up a navigation app. But you get a bit of an idea for it. You've got, here you've got the, the media, the entertainment. Here you're in the relax mode. When you start the engine, the uh, engine gauges automatically come up. You've also got a depth gauge, top right. Oh, I better turn that off. I think it's telling me we'll probably use the battery a bit too much. But uh, that is the controls, I think, for the canopy up and down. Standard Mercury throttle controls for that 300 horsepower engine. You, you can actually put, amazingly, 400 horsepower on the back of this boat if you want to. And then an enormous entertaining space in the bow. Look at this. I mean, we've seen bow riders before, and you might be able to sit two or three people on. This, you could have, well, it's actually certified up to 14 people on board but there is genuinely space for 14 people on this boat, all in this 25 foot length. That's a bit of storage under here. Again, I think you can have a fridge in there if you want to. This boat hasn't actually got the fridge fitted, but you can fit a fridge. The only thing I'm a bit surprised about is there isn't a full wet bar. Again, there is so much space here. You could happily build a wet bar on here and have a fridge and sink and grill facilities. Now there is access into the central pontoon, or the logs I think they tend to call them. Uh, so this one has access to it. You can see it's just a big deep well. We've got a life raft in there, but masses of storage. You could happily put skis or wakeboards or whatever you want down there. Let's close that. And then again, big, bolstered, comfortable cushions everywhere you look. But what I like about it is when you lift up all of these, Again, the storage absolutely everywhere. Under all of here, under all of these. That's got a separate lid on it. But all the way along, all these, even these corner ones, check it out. You could absolutely load this boat. And because it's so stable and so buoyant, it's really not going to affect the stability of it at all. That's why it's certified for up to 14 people. It's just a super buoyant, super stable. And these are all lined in plastic, so it's nice and clean, very easy to maintain. No fuss, you've got no raw edges of fiberglass or aluminium. And look at the upholstery on this, it's just in another level. These cup holders, they all move around so you can tuck them in wherever you want to got them on both sides of the boat. This table here can move about. You can take it out from here and put it in at the back there. And then right on the bow, you've got another gate here. So it really is just a huge floating platform. And you can imagine what fun that would be if you fill the boat up with kids. They'd be jumping off the front, jumping off the side, jumping off the back. It's just a great big fun palace on the water. Now I'm told that it actually performs and handles much better than you might imagine. Now admittedly, most of them are probably on the lakes. 
in the US, but here you can use it in the harbour, and they are apparently much more capable at sea than you might imagine. Hopefully we'll get a chance to experience that for ourselves, but in the meantime you can totally imagine one of these pottering around in Poole Harbour or Chichester, cruising about at low speed, and then on a flat day you can take it out into the Solent, do a bit of wakeboarding, water skiing, but most of all ram the thing with friends, load it up with food, probably if I'm honest quite a bit of booze, not for the driver but for all your guests. 14 friends all in the space of 25 foot and most importantly of all the price. So the price for this starts at £103,500 and this particular model with all the kit on, you see on it including a trailer and including VAT is £126,600. Now I can't think of another boat of 25 foot long that is trailable, that is stable, that will do 36 knots and most of all that you can get 14 friends on. Now admittedly the styling takes a little bit of getting used to. It's not quite the sleek speed machine that uh, we're used to seeing in UK waters but if you want fun on the water with a load of friends and a lot of versatility, I've got to admit it's slightly getting to me. I'm not sure I'm a natural pontoon person, but you know what? I am starting to see the appeal of it. So there you have it. You've got lights absolutely everywhere. You can see we've actually got headlights on this. We've got built-in navigation lights. We've got steaming lights. We've got pop-up cleats and a really robust aluminium hull. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing something a little bit different. Now I know everybody in the States knows everything about these, but I just thought it would be fun to bring a little bit of the States to the UK, give you all a look round and hopefully see what you think. And of course this is something a bit different, so do please let me know on the, in the comments what you make of it. I'd be fascinated to know if you can see the appeal of it if this is for you or whether it turns out to be one of those Marmite boats that some people love and other people not so much. So let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching.